G'day, Adam Grokey from Johnston Grokey. I'm just here to bring you some really good news for what I think is going to reshape how much money you can borrow over the next six months. So there's some fantastic news out there at the moment. Um, there was a case between ASIC and Westpac, and ASIC was suing or challenging Westpac on their interpretation of responsible lending. That comes down to how they were assessing people's cost of living or living expenses. So post-Royal Commission, the banks went through and a significant change where they go through everyone's uh, bank account statements for three months, categorise their spending, and then they annualise that. So they times that three months by four and they say, well, that's your annual living expenses. Now, we all know the Australian way is that if you want to buy a house, you tighten your belt, you stop the smashed avocado and the Wagyu beef, and you actually make sure that you can get yourself ready to purchase a house. It's just what we do. So what where the banks went to in assessing everything you spent over the last three months just didn't make sense. That's not your true cost of living, that's actually your total cost of living. So you've got your cost of living, in my view, and then you've got your luxury expenses. You'll cut your luxury expenses if you want to buy a house. So ASIC was challenging Westpac on this. So what came out of that is it was a fantastic result. They said that what you actually spend today is not going to be what you spend if you're going to buy a house. So what I think they'll do in this case is I think they're going to start to separate luxury expenses and actual living expenses because responsible lending says that you need to go and you need to be able to not be in significant financial hardship from that loan that you're getting. Now significant financial hardship does not mean you don't have smashed avocado and your Wagyu beef, it just means that you can still maintain a basic standard of living that you're comfortable with without your luxury items. This is fantastic news. Some of the banks will adopt this relatively quickly. Some of them will take a longer period of time. I only expect this change to come through the market where people can borrow more money in about January or February next year by the time it's gone through the banks and the credit departments. Fantastic news. It looks like things are starting to loosen up out there, which is great. This will have an effect on property prices uh, because if people can access their uh, access capital and access credit more easily because policies loosened it just means there's going to be more people in the market they're going to look at more expensive properties and we're going to see some upward pressure on house prices which is fantastic thank you have a great day